Now the prison break is actually going as planned, which Boruto, Miski, and Kokori is actually going to break out Hosuki Castle, which they actually going to carry out their plans without Sarada, who is actually unconscious during the Benga attack, which he actually found out that she was actually collecting information from him. And then he learns that she was actually in on this altogether. So we actually knew that the prison break is actually happening. So we actually hear that Benga actually talking with Kidama because he's the only one left at their cell in which he actually doesn't know anything about the prison break and as soon as he leaves he actually saw that the hole that they actually created is still there which he actually knew they're breaking out of the prison so we actually can tell that Benga actually saw that the water pressure was actually is rising up so he won't let that actually happen and he actually using his summoning jutsu to send his ninja hound after the three prison the prisoners in which Boruto and his sorry Boruto and the others found out that Benga's ninja hound is actually confronted them which is a two-headed dog and we actually seen them battle the dog while Miski using his lightning strike jutsu on the ceiling to collapse on the dogs so we actually knew it'll slow down while they actually get their head start and then Kokori actually heard water from the other room and which freedom is just on their way but they actually knew that Benga actually turned off the water after Sarada actually woken up from the rising water in the cliff I mean sorry in the cave we actually knew that she trying to escape then she was actually rescued by Kidama because he actually going to help them escape which Sarada actually knew that the three have made it to the outside barrier which it only affected those who actually had the real celestial prison jutsu which Kogori tried to cross over but he actually can't not while the flames are trying to consume him however we actually saw Benga and his ninja hound actually confronted them and then shooting fireballs from their mouths which Miski tried to use his snake lightning jutsu on them but still have no effect and Kogori trying to cross over but the flames continue to torture him until we actually saw Sarada appeared and punched through the floor because the spring tide is actually underneath the cave and the water appeared to wash out the the celestial prison from Kokori so with no other choice we saw Benka actually have told Sukio about the situation in which he actually unleashed his cell then unleashed the jutsu in which Kogori have used his lightning jutsu on Benka to incapacitate him and like the old saying if you want to do something done right you have to do it yourself in which Kidama actually headed back over to the cell which we saw Duraka actually confronted him about his situation but he actually found out that his celestial prison jutsu had been unleashed and then his jutsu is about to be used to threaten him for using Benga authority as a threat to get attention as soon as they actually 
waiting for the food supply ship ready in the morning, we saw that Sukio actually confronted the four of them as we get ready to having the battle between them and Sukio soon. Now we actually seen how this battle is going to happen as a prison escape battle between Boruto, Miski, Sarda against Sukio. So we're going to see who's going to win on the next episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment on what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and like my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guy Journey here saying sign out. Laters.